Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to use the Timeline Reveal Template which is a notebook file designed to help you create a timeline for your interactive whiteboard. You can download the template here and when you have downloaded it it looks like this three slides. The first one, as with the other templates, has nothing to do with the timeline. It's just uh, set up so you can easily insert a heading by clicking a few times there and you can easily insert some introductory text by clicking in this box and beginning to type. So introduce your students to, to what your timeline is going to be about. The second slide is the template slide which you will use to make your own timeline and the third slide is an example of a timeline that I've created earlier. Now I just went and found some random facts on Google about Albert Einstein and what you do with this template is you just click on a dot under a date and it'll bring up uh, whatever happened on that date which you've typed in. So on 18, in 1879 Albert Einstein is born in Germany. Okay, we'll click on 1915 and it pops up there. He completes the general theory of relativity. Um, what happened, we'll go back to 1903, see what happened here. He marries his first wife. Okay, maybe go forward to 1922 and click there. Okay, he's awarded the Nobel Prize for Physics for, for 1921. Okay, if any of these facts are wrong, um, I'm not too fussed about it. I just wanted to show you a, a quick example of what you can do with this. And more importantly, let's get into how you can make one yourself. Okay, so click on slide 2 and then click on the edit button in the top left hand corner. And this has got to be one of the easier templates to use. Simply double click where it says date 1 and type in a date. 1879 I'll type. Then double click on description 1 and type in whatever happened on that date. So we'll say Albert Einstein was born in Germany. Okay. And the same goes for date 2, description 2 and so on. If you can follow that then you can create one your, yourself. Uh, there's just one other factor I'll tell you about up here number of dates if you don't want all ten of them in you can just choose however many dates you want. I might just bring it down to four and it'll get rid of all the others. Okay. Once you've actually typed in your dates and descriptions you're actually finished. There's nothing more to it click OK and the kids will see it. Obviously I've just put in one so far. OK and as with the other videos I'll just mention the same thing. The kids can actually change this themselves and if you they, they can just go in and click edit the same way that you can. If you don't want them to be able to do that type in a password here that you remember click on the password box and then click OK. Then if they want to edit it, they can't unless they know the password. Alright, that's about it for this tutorial. I hope you've learned something and I hope your kids get enjoyment out of it too. Thank you.